Hello, and welcome to the Kathleen Spracklin Podcast. I am a woman on a mission to gather a cadre of writers, thinkers, and teachers who are transforming the world one character at a time. And it all starts with one thing, a deep understanding of human motivation, why people do what they do, and the forces that drive them. But lately, I've been on the side venture sharing what's going on with my Zettelkasten. And I thank you so much for your continued questions. You're enlivening my journey, making me try things out that I haven't tried before and are helping me to stay active with the tests that I do on my Zettelkasten. I've been at it for two and a half years, but I'm still experimenting. I'm still doing what Scott Shepard loves to call A-B tests. And uh, so I'm still learning more about the Zettelkasten. So in these podcasts, I'm really sharing my journey. And with your notes and your comments, you're helping to shape that journey. And I appreciate that. I appreciate you. So thank you. Well, today I'm working on an essay. You, if you've been watching my podcast for very long, you probably know that I wrote a book, Writing with Emotion. And this book, 70 pages, summarizes a 35-week course that I taught here on YouTube. It's still available, Reawaken the Dream of Writing. And um, now I've been asked to take this book and basically write an essay on how it is that you can use your Zettelkasten to create stories that are packed with emotion. I'm excited about the challenge of writing that. And in the process, because I'm in the very process of doing that writing, it reminded me that there are aspects of my Zellicaston that I haven't shared with you. I, I've given you a tour of my boxes, but I haven't shown you all of the spaces that I actually use. So today is the day for to share with you the hidden spaces in my Zettelkasten. Well, here's my extended Zettelkasten. This is my Zettelkasten out of the box. It's my working area of my Zettelkasten. This first section here is a group of cards where we've been Zettelkasting together that very book, How to Write with Emotions, and trying to show how using the effortless numbering system, you could Zettelkast in that book. Well, there are other areas as well. I've also kept notes on this essay that I'm writing. And so every time I had a thought or an idea that related to that essay, I just took the card and I plunked them right into that section and um, collected notes. I'll be back to that one because that's the main topic. The next section in my book is um, videos. As you know, I sometimes do uh, long form videos like uh, the easiest numbering system or indexing where I really try to grapple with a big topic. Similarly here, when I have one of those in the planning stages, the cards go right in there while I'm working on it. Um, my podcast area, well, here we are right now. So these cards are potential podcast episodes. Then this big section is for my physical monthly newsletter. I publish a um, real physical monthly newsletter that arrives in the mail to subscribers. And it has a number of sections. And so I just keep notes as I go for the coming issue. I just had an issue that went to uh, the printers on Monday. So this section is, is pretty lean right now. Then this is the section for if I'm really actively working with a, a book, then I keep my bib cards right here because I don't have to go back to my bib drawer all the time to pull them out to make another note. I just keep them in this little active bib section. And this last section is one that I want to share with you that I think is really important to having a successful Zettelkasten and not have it, not have you spinning your wheels, not get frustrated, and not feel like you're never going to get on top of it. And that's why I'm going to share it with you. And I have never seen anybody do a video on this section. So I'm going to cover that and then we'll get back to essay writing. This section, 
and it's yay thick. It's not quite half inch thick right now. Half inch is my, my boundary line. What goes into this section are any ideas that pop my way that I'm thinking about that I haven't quite percolated through um, will go into this section. I had this happen this morning. I was filing a card that was related to the essay that I'm writing. And as I was doing the indexing, I had so much stimulation coming from the other entries in my index that I had new thoughts popping out. Well, I'm not going to drop everything and, and fully zelicast in that new thought, but I don't want to lose it either. So what I'll do is I'll grab a card and I'll jot down just the thought as quickly as I can. Sometimes I start in the middle because I don't want to do the whole preamble explaining what the thought's about because the thought might be gone before I'm done with the preamble. I'm 76 and that happens to me these days. I don't think it happened as much when I was younger. But so sometimes I'll just start mid-sentence right in the middle of the card, get the key part down and then fill in the, the stuff. That's all I'm going to do. And then I plunk it either the very front or the very back. How do I choose? If it's a random thought that, oh, it's so fascinating, but it's not directly related to what I'm working on at the moment, I file it to the back. If it's super related to what I'm really actively working on, I file it to the front. That's it. I just plunk it in that box and then, I, then I'm, I'm done with it and I continue working on the thing that I was working on. Well, there's another purpose for this section, and that is you can be right in the middle of something and time is up. I will spend hours and hours and hours working on my Zettelkasten, but I specifically block out two hours in the morning. And at the end of that time, when, I'm, when time is up, I have to stop what I'm doing. Well, if I'm in the middle of indexing a certain card, that card will go right into the front of that box. So when I'm next ready to process that box, oh, there it is. And when do I process this box? Whenever I have a few minutes of time. If I've got, oh, I just finished recording my podcast and I still have a half hour left before dinner. Here they, here they come. Or I'm all dressed for church and I don't have to go for another 10 minutes. Work on this box. You'll be surprised at how generally you can make it. I do not make working on this box my, it doesn't invade my two hours of precious time in the morning unless, unless it gets more than a half inch thick. If it gets more than a half inch thick, my next two hour morning session is clearing this box. Well, this morning I had to clear it because it was way thick. But it was way thick for a reason. I had had pulled all of the cards for my newsletter into all of the different sections of the newsletter. And so I had cards from all over my Zettelkasten packed into my newsletter section. Well, the newsletter was done and went to the printer. So all those cards got pulled out and they were filed to the front of my uh, box here. And oh my gosh, it really freed up a gajillion out cards because every time I pull a main card to do something to write with it, an out card goes in its place. And then I was almost out of out cards and now I got a gajillion of them. So that's what I did this morning that I had to do. I was over a half inch thick. In fact, I was almost an inch thick. Um, I put away all my cards that I used for my last newsletter. Okay, so back to essay writing. I thought that was going to be my main theme, big diversion. Pardon, pardon me for that. But I want to share something that's going on with the essay writing that was so fascinating to me this morning. Uh, Julianne and I had a conversation with it in the notes on the last essay I did, uh, um, podcast I did, on using your Zettelkasten for producing output. Well, this morning, as I was filing notes, I was finding that I was thinking new thoughts very rapidly. Well, they got dropped right into this section on the essay I'm writing because that's what they pertain to. Uh, so 
it is a, it's a very, very valuable thing to have this section. Now the cards in this section, as I'm thinking about producing an essay, are generally going to be my thoughts. Things that I've decided, oh, I'd like to include this, and I just throw the note in. Um, and but one of the things I noticed this morning, and I made a note about it, is that when I am working on an actual project, most of the time the notes that go into this box are just my thoughts, things that I want to include in my podcast. But then when it gets time to really get serious, then I'm doing pulling cards they are going into there, and then I'm also doing some targeted research where I look up a reference or I look up something that I'm missing. Well, those can result in creating new main cards. This morning, I was finding that as I was filing those targeted research cards and creating index entries for them, I was getting so many ideas that my essay was practically writing itself just from the stimulation that I was getting from my index entries. And not only that, they were pointing to exactly the cards I had to pull to complete the essay. I think that is why they say Zettel Keston makes you a writing machine. And I have to say it truly makes you one because when I started my Zettel Keston two and a half years ago, I said, okay, I'm keeping a Zettel Keston, but I'm not a writer. I'm retired. Well, actually, I wasn't totally retired yet. I'm in the process of working fewer hours gradually, and I'm going to be retired, and I'm just doing it for my own fun. I am not writing anything. Oh no. So I taught a 35 week class and I've written a book and I'm writing an essay and maybe it's true. Maybe Zettel Keston does make you a writing machine. Anyway, I wanted to share these thoughts with you. One last thought and then I'll let you go. And that is my bib cards. I keep a bib card on my own projects and my bib card will be my initials and then a shortcut name for the essay. In this case is going to, the working title is how to use your Zettelkasten to write stories packed with emotion. So my title is chaos underscore ZWPSE. And on the back, as I've written my draft, because my whole first draft is now finished, I put the pages in my yellow legal pad where that text is and what each section uh, says. So that this is this is the draft, the pointers to the draft form of my essay. I write the actual text into my yellow legal pad and every entry gets logged with where what it gets used for. So this points back to those cards, those cards point back to this so I can pull the text of my uh, what I'm writing. And when I write something new, if I haven't yet cataloged it, I have, I've written something but I haven't given its pointer, I use this handy clip-on ribbon to mark so that I know that even if I turn the page and get a fresh page, I know I have to come back and put this guy's pointer in place. And he just attaches to the back with a clip. It's kind of like a hair clip but it's got um, ribbon attached to it. Um, and I, I sit down, I make these things, that particular one I bought, but I like them so much that I actually make a bunch of them. So put in the comments if you want to know how I do that. Um, so that's my sharing for today. So let your Zettelkasten make you a writing machine because it will if you let it. And thank you for being a part of this. I just love your comments and suggestions and ideas. So uh, I love the fact that this is interactive. That's what spurs me on. That you are what made me continue this Settle Casting series. So thank you. Bye-bye.